welcome to Revolution Rail. Today we're going to be doing the Ingle Nook project as you can see in front of me here. Now obviously this is not the plan for the episode but there's your title sequence for all the ones coming up so yeah, let's just um, wash that aside and get on with the video. Right, for any of you who don't know what Inglenook layout is or pro the project we're going to be doing, it's basically a railway that you can do puzzles on. Now if you're not quite sure what I'm saying about, there should be a diagram on screen right now in this area, but I'm not going to um, I'm not going to stop doing the video and try and explain it because I have no idea what it's going to be. So if you want to have a, take a closer look at that image, then pause the video and have a look. But I'm not going to go on about it right now because that's probably what you're not here for. You're probably not here for me to explain what an ingle nook is because you can't, probably could just Google it. So let's start off, shall we? So we're going to need some track. First of all, this is planning, and planning is what we're going to do this episode. So, we need some track. So, I've got some track under here. Now, it's like those game show ones, isn't it? Don't, don't know what's underneath. You reveal it, and you've got to work with that. So, we're going to take a look underneath here. So, and th there's our track. So, th let's take it off and. Have a right, look at what okay, got. so this is all the track that I think we're going to need. I'm not too sure. Now, basically, all you're going to need is minimum of two points for it to work. I'm going to put another one to disguise it so it's not, say, it doesn't seem more like a basic ingle nook. It's just, it doesn't feel like one of those. So we've also got some corners, I've got four of those. We've got three short straight bits, a power track, and two long bits. So, now you might be wondering what, what are we going to do with this? So, basically, we're going to make a layout, obviously. Now, the last time I did this, I can't remember what I did because I've already put this together, so I know what I'm doing, but I can't remember. So, shall we do a time lapse sort of thing of me putting I think that would look cool. Should we do that? Let's do a time lapse. Okay. Super fast time lapse begin. Okay, so this is our final layout. I did during the video you might the time lapse sort of thing. You might have seen that I changed this bit over because I wasn't really quite happy with it. Same with this bit over here. I wasn't happy with it. So now what we're gonna do but before we put some carriages on here, that's what we that's what we're gonna do. Just wanna explain what this bit is because this isn't part of the Ingle Nook thing. This is just for, say if we wanted to put a carriage there to fill up with like livestock or whatever, like a fill it, a filling up station for the carriages for another train to come in and take those away. And that's what this is for. So that's why I put this here. There's, also, there's room for something this side and there's obviously going to be probably across there and down there room for something just here and room for something just here. Not much room though. I want to keep this layout small. And yeah, so let's put some carriages on and have a look how much we can fit in because we're supposed to fit in five here, three here, three here, and three plus the train here. So let's have a look. Carriages on and we are about to begin. As you can see, we can fit Six, six on here, which is one too many, but I think, let's put this down here, 
think if we move this carriage along, we'll actually find out it doesn't work because it's a bit too long. So, yeah, there you can see we can fit in five, definitely. Six is pushing it, but it, and it can't be done really with these length carriages. Now, you might be wondering why they've all got numbers on. That's because every year since I started, I have collected one of these. So, I started in 2010 doing model railways, and yeah, that's why I've got these. So I'm going to use this this one as like a uh, see if it fits. So obviously we've got six along here. Does it fit? No, that carriage can't go across. So let's change the points and remove three because we've got to fit three down this end, and we're definitely going to do that because that's longer than the five. So let's just do that. So they're all on now, let's move these three up. Okay, now we want to put this one up to the next siding. So we can test the length. Just pull these back. We'll change these points. Does that fit? Does it have to? That is brilliant. That can go off the board. We're going to put it on the bit just so it doesn't come off. So, the last siding, will we work on that siding? Let's find out. Change points. Well, apart from this being on a slight hill. They can actually fit that one behind. So that's pretty nice. I like that now. So we can definitely fit five on here and three on each of these ones. Just for a little test, shall we find out how many can fit on this one? Because that'd be interesting. So let's pull this all the way over to here. Points. So how many carriages could I fit on here? Three. Four wouldn't fit. So there you go. There's our layout and basically that's all I want to share with you this video. This is basic plan. Next video we will be making the baseboard. So that's going to be fun. So I've got to measure out how much of the baseboard I want and there will be a tunnel down this end here or a bridge that's where I can cut it off and that they'll just have like a bit of wood with the rest of the track on so that can be removed if I don't want it because if I want it put onto a layout a bigger layout then obviously I want it to be modular I don't want it to be have a fiddle yard or walls now walls, you might think, but that makes a layout. It does, but I can also use trees to create a fake wall, and that can also be incremented into our design. So if you've enjoyed this video and all these trains, please put a like on this video. If you want to tag along with this series of trains and layouts and making and hopefully some interesting videoing because I don't want this to be like every other video that I do or other people do I want this to be interesting for you to watch and interesting for me to make because if I'm just going to sit here and talk in front of the camera and what I'm doing that's not fun well, I do enjoy it, but I'm going to do something spectacular. So if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. And I don't know what that's going to be because I don't have a plan. But I do what I want. 
So, see you all then. Bye-bye. <laughs>